From the island of Sikogon, we're going up to the northernmost part of Luzon, Ilocos Norte. Located 500 kilometers north of the Philippine capital, Ilocos Norte is accessible either by air or by land. Land travel takes up to 10 hours. That's why for today's trip, we are flying with Cebu Pacific from Naia to Lawag International Airport. The flight will take only 45 minutes. Bagnabigat, everyone, we are now here at Ilocos Norte. I'm sure this place looks very familiar to you guys because we are now here at the Patapat Viaduct. This concrete bridge spans over 1.3 kilometers, which makes this the fourth longest bridge in the Philippines. This bridge was also built in 1986, connecting the municipalities of Pagodpod and Bac. Ilocos Norte is known for a lot of things. When you say bagnet, pinakbet, or empanada, windmill, or sand dunes, Ilocos Norte agad yan. Kaya naman for this trip, join us as we go along and explore Ilocos Norte. Tara! Built along the mountain cliff, this bridge amazes people with its breathtaking view of the West Philippine Sea. After Patapat Viaduct, we are now making our way to Kabigan Falls. According to them, siguro max na yung 30 minutes. It depends sa speed ng walking, sa manner of walking. Pero others also say na kapag tinuloy-tuloy natin to, it'll take us about just 15 minutes to trek up to the falls. I'm really excited. I feel like in every destination, meron tayong pinupuntahan na falls. I'm looking forward to this one and how this is going to be different from the ones that um, we've seen before. I'm excited to share with you guys later. Sana may makuusap tayo na local para explain sa atin ba't tinawag nila tong Kabigan. Although I already have a short background and a little knowledge on, on why they call this the Kabigan Falls. But it's also nice to probably talk to somebody there to explain to us themselves kung bakit ito ang isa sa mga pinupuntahan talaga ng mga tourists dito sa Ilocos Norte. Okay, so this is Jessie, siyang mga kasama natin for this trip. I'm curious, bakit kabigan ang tawag sa falls na to? Kabigan po, derived from the word kabig or ito yung nagsusupply ng major farming po natin downward kasi yung falls is located po sa mountainous range po ng Cordillera uh -huh. or the Ilocos Norte. So yung kabigan po is very important not only for tourism purposes po, but for the locals also. Kasi yung tubig na galing po sa kabigan falls siya po yung nagsusupply sa mga farmer na nasa area po ng Malawi na pagudpud. Aside from the other things that you mentioned earlier, why do you think this is one of the most popular spots here? Yung uh, scenic view niya is different from the other falls. Kasi mm. yung other falls po, we have here in Ilocos Norte, mga seasonal falls. Okay. Nawawal na siya ng tubig. But yung Kavigan Falls po is uh, number one, isa sa pinakamataas na falls in Ilocos Norte. This At, one? Yes po. Okay. Nasa uh, 87, there's height po siya. Ooh, Tapos okay. tubig po is hindi siya nawawalan. So Patuloy all year round siya na tuloy-tuloy yung tubig. Okay. And yung lameg ng Kavigan Falls po is different from the other falls na we have in Ilocos How Norte. So? Kasi ang lamig po niya, sabi nga ng mga pumuntang turista once daw na pumunta ka sa Kavigan Falls, naligo ka, marirefresh talaga yung buong katawan mo. Wow. Your mind and your soul. Wow. So parang nakakaalis ng stress. Calming. Wow. Yes. I'm so excited to try that. Gusto kong mag-dip ng, ng paa, pampagising, dahil um, nakita nyo naman, dumiretso tayo today sa work coming from our flight so I feel like magiging perfect tong cold dip. Konti na lang nandun na tayo. Let's go! It was such an easy breezy walk. Hindi siya difficult. And kanina, I, I tried to dip my feet in the water. So nice. Reminds me a lot of um, kung saan tayo pumunta nung Samal. But this one has its unique beauty and the nature that surrounds the, the body of water here. It's amazing. Parang pinintura siya. Look at how beautiful it is. Kabigan Falls is undoubtedly a popular destination here in Ilocos Norte. Going to this 84-foot waterfall, the highest in Ilocos Norte. Oh, oh. 
half of our first day. We are currently here in one of Pagudbod's beautiful beaches, Saud Beach. A little trivia, napasama itong beach na to sa Travel and Leisure's Top 25 Best Beaches in the World. And, you know, coming here, I could agree, it's beautiful, the sand, it's, it's soft, it's, it's buttery almost. It's why the color of the ocean, of the water, is so beautiful. The sunset here, it's perfect. Yung baba ng araw, it's also perfect. We're at the perfect spot right now. And it goes way over there, and then way over there, and then meron ka pang konting view ng wind. I can only agree that this is definitely one of the most beautiful beaches that, that I've seen. And this is Saud Beach, everyone. Tara! Saud Beach is without a doubt a hidden gem of Ilocos Norte that you may not have heard of before. This place is so serene, especially during sunsets. The experience here is definitely worthwhile. Hi guys! Um, bago tayo mag May chicken! Nagko-quick kumu lang kami because we want to give a little teaser sa mga loyal viewers natin ng Juju on the go kung nasaan tayo. But we're not telling them yet. Kung nasaan tayo para may surprise mamaya sasabihin ko din. Before we had to dinner mag Kumu muna tayo. Alam niyo ba, with Kumu, you'll get to earn money just by going live. You can also win campaigns and get exclusive prizes such as vacation stays in different destinations. currently here in Hakuna Matata and they prepared us so much food but what makes it even more special is that they prepared us authentic Japanese food and aside from that you have the Filipino cuisine you have the American Italian cuisine you have Japanese and the goal is to finish this all so good luck to all of us we're ending our day here in Hakuna Matata and we go home and and we rest and we catch up on sleep because tomorrow we have another full day. See you! Mangantayon! Hi guys, good morning. Um, I want to give you a quick tour of the room before I head down for breakfast because today is also our last morning here in Panzian, which is a really beautiful place. But I think it's important that, that we discuss that um, this place has barely any signal and they do not offer Wi-Fi. And that is because they really want to allow you to be present and lessen your screen time. Tapos, it's a very much um, wellness-centric place. So, um, it explains why wala sila masyadong signal dito sa area na to. And conscious effort ata talaga yun. No? Na parang wala talaga tayong mahahagap. Sagap. Sagap. <laughs> I'll just shut up and show you the room, okay? <laughs> so, this is the bed. Dinay ko yung... Inayos ko siya ng konte pero kasi syempre, ginamit ko siya last night. So this is where I've been sleeping for two nights. And then this area is the outdoor area of this room. So kagabi, um, dito ako nag-relax nag nung nagising ako ng madaling araw. And right in front of it is the, the farm itself where we're going in a while. And then this is the bathroom. Ang laki ng banyo actually. It's really big. And then I like that this room is the ceilings are really high. So it feels spacious and hindi siya parang masikip. So that's that's pretty much it. But it's time to check their farm, which is also inside the resort. Let's go. Ito po 
tayo ngayon ma'am sa Pansan Ecological Trail. Ito po yung ating mga puno na mga mulberry. Ganito po siya ma'am. Pagkahinog po siya, nagbablock po siya. Yan po. Yeah. Ito po kasi maasim pa. Ito po yung pinakamatamis kulay wow. black. Opo. Yes. Yan po yung ginagawa po namin product ng Pansan Beach Resort na mulberry jam at saka mulberry concentrate and mulberry syrup for fun cake. This is the echo trail of the resort. Yes po ma'am. So everything that we've been eating here are from their own ingredients actually. And their best seller here is their mulberry. Yes. So they make mulberry ice cream, drink, spread. It's been so good. Papunta naman po tayo doon sa ating river. Doon po galing po ang tubig niya sa taas ng spring. How many hectares ang resort? Six hectares. Six hectares. Simula po kami magtanim, kinat lang po namin sila, pinatubo, bago po itinanim po namin lahat dito. So, kasama pa ito sa resort, Opo, right? Hey guys, before we continue on with our adventure here in Ilocos Norte, kakain muna tayo dito sa Berg Blick, which is an authentic German restaurant that you can find here. Can you imagine? Parang ang dami na nating natutay na um, different cuisines and they're all authentic, which makes it even more exciting, interesting that you can find it here, diba? And this is before we go to, of course, the city. So tara, let's see what they could offer and um, let's try them and we'll let you know if they're good or they're very good. Let's go. Serving delicious food since 2010, Bergblick Restaurant is definitely a go-to place in Pagudpod, Ilocos Norte that offers affordable farm-to-table food. Okay, it's not just German, it's Ilocano and Filipino fusion. Our tourists, especially the one coming from Manila, they're looking for pinakbet, bagnet. Yeah. That's why we added Ilocano uh, dishes. That's why it became a fusion. Yeah. The menu, you will see malunggay ravioli, for example. Whoa. It's malunggay the, with the adobo yeah. filling. Adobo filling? Yes, you should try it. <laughs> Oh malunggay. my goodness. Malunggay. And the dough is made of uh, flour and malunggay. Wow. It's delicious. Very healthy. Yes, very healthy. Okay, ma'am, thank you so much. We're so excited to try the food. For less than 1,000 pesos, you'll be able to taste the best of both worlds as they serve a fusion of authentic German and Ilocano cuisines. This is the malunggay ravioli with adobo filling. It's really good. It's really good. The pork natural is so good. Before our next destination, we gotta grab some coffee to boost our energy. Short trivia lang. This place got its name from the mountain's coordinates, which is precisely 18 degrees north. Ayan. Okay. And then. Last ang galit mo na yung mga kasi sa. Paano tatagal nyan? A blush. Pang joke lang. Pang blush lang. Ganon pala yun. Pas. Pas off. Start from there. Start. Dito mo na tayo. Dito. Tapos talaga yung dito. This one. Make sure to stop by kapag nandito kayo sa pagudpod, dahil bukod sa minimalistic ambiance of the place, sobrang sarap ng kape nila rito at samahan mo pa ng overlooking view of the windmills and the sea. Next destination obviously does not need any introduction, but I will still say where we are. We are in the largest wind farm in Southeast Asia, and currently we have 113 right here, and they are about to build 32 more in the Pagudpod area. We need to call Jesse because he interviewed natin ikaw because ikaw ang mayroon ng lahat ng facts about this EDC wind farm. So aside from this being the largest in Southeast Asia, what else can you share about um, this EDC wind farm? Uh, yung uh, EDC po natin, as you can see, we have the uh, best view kasi we're yes. at the C1 yeah. and then uh, 360 degree po siya. The first windmills po na napatay natin na sa baba. Uh, that's uh, Burgos po. And yung nasa dugo, that's the pagod po in Bangi po ito. So yung first na windmills na pinatayo na nasa so, sa natin is yung first 20 po. The first? Yes, 20. The first 20 is this yes. one. Tapos uh, kaya na pong mag-generate ng kuryente 
sa buong Luzon and yung kuryente oh, Luzon? Yes, yes po. So hindi po siya self-sustaining na windmills kasi tinutulungan siya using yung solar. Yes. We have the largest solar farm dito magdadaan ng ating later. Okay. And then uh, once po yung windmills natin is naka-stop it's either po nagbabato siya ng kuryente or under maintenance. Okay. Yes. And yung windmills din po natin hindi po siya ikot lang siya ng ikot kasi baka tinatanong niyo yung windmills but tinutumba kapag malakas yung hangin. Self-revolving din po siya kung nasaan po yung hangin sumusunod siya and doon siya naka Utilizing the strong winds, these 113 turbines are scattered along the mountain cliffs and shorelines of Bangui and Burgos. now heading to one of the most popular destinations here, which is the Kapur Purawan Rock Formation. Purao means white. That's actually where it's from. And I heard that this place is really stunning. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it for myself. There are activities here. You can go horseback riding. And I think that the best time to come here would be 3 p.m. onwards, guys, to be honest with you. So it's kind of going to be a little bit more. Alrighty, you guys, we are finally here. We made it to the Kapur Purawan Rock Formation. It's actually, this is the white na sinasabi nila sa, sa Kapur Purawan, which is the Purao yet again in Ilocano. That means white. Sabi nila yung stones daw, yung mga edges niya, are from the sea breeze and the water. Kaya na form ng ganun yung rock formation. So kaya naging ganito yung formation ng rocks because of the waves, wind, and rain. You don't really mess with Mother Nature dahil hindi mo alam kung ano talaga nagagawa ng Mother Nature. Diba? Ang galing. What were you saying about the greenery here? Because that's really interesting. Yes, ma'am. The green one is one of the most expensive bonsai, ma'am. We call it Bantige. Bantige? Bantige. Bantige. Yes, ma'am. Local name niya, ma'am, is Ngirad. Ngirad? Yes, ma'am. Expensive in what, in what sense? Like, are people allowed to get this? Uh, yes, ma'am. Especially the Japan, Japanese people. Ah, really yeah. ba? Because yeah, because bonsais are so beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Now heading to Lawag City to check their dragon fruit farm. See you guys there. You also heard that this is the first um, dragon fruit farm in the northern part, but the biggest here, right? Yes. In Ilocos Norte. Yes. Wow, so well, thanks for having us. Okay, we do have the ice cream. Oh, they're prepared, okay. Yeah. I'll go for it. Yeah. I do have the ice cream. This oh, one is a coffee. Yeah, it's almost uh, zero to none caffeine. So it can be for kids. Zero to yeah. none? Yes. Made out of dragon fruit. Yes. And this one is the tea. Okay. Yeah. And we also have the vinegar. Ooh. Yeah. It can be apple cider. You can you can drink, drink it, it at least one teaspoon. Teaspoon before meal time. What are the benefits yeah. taking this one teaspoon? It's an antioxidant. Yeah. So it releases toxins in the body. This is before any meal or any time? Yes. Especially if you're eating meat. Uh, you need para to. digest. Oh, oh. Wow, I'm so curious. Yeah. And then. And these products are yours, you sell them. Where do you sell them? Uh, just here in some exhibits. Oh, yeah. So exclusive, exclusive lang siya. And this one, this one is the Shanghai spring rolls made out of flowers, dried flowers. Whoa, you also have hot dog na dragon fruit? Yes. Show my lang ganun. Uh -huh. Burger patties? Yeah. Dragon fruits. Ang galing. And then this is the ice cream. And this one is the ice cream. Can you try the ice cream? Yes, of course. I'm so curious. <laughs> it's so ano ah, ang innovative ng... Yeah, it's, it's my mom's passion. Really? She, it's her favorite, talaga, dragon fruit. Yes, actually, it's not her favorite, but it happens to um, not heal. Actually, it's it's my sister's. Uh, it's, she's a cerebral palsy. Younger, older? Younger. Okay. Uh, she's the youngest of us. Okay. And um, she's a cerebral palsy, and she usually have spasticity. Yeah. And then vowel movement. Okay. So once she had taken the the, the fruit itself. 
It's an antioxidant, so it releases the toxins. Really? So you guys saw the effect yes. from the dragon fruit? Yes. Oh, pero na research yon, mm -hmm. right? You research yes, first before you does. try dra dragon fruit for your sister. Uh, a friend of my mom recommended. Just, uh, yeah, recommended because she uses it. And you didn't have reasons. a farm yet that time. None yet. It's wow. just a backyard planting. And this then, is a small, a small backyard, like 20 posts. Okay. And then after that, in a year time, so happened that a lot of seedlings already arises. So yeah. we need to plant somewhere else. So yeah. we need to plant here in the farm now. So, and then years and years, yeah. it became bigger and bigger. So, so started it. in 2003? Five. Five. Mm. And then in the farm, it's 2006. Is it for the public to... Yes. Oh my gosh, that's it's not so sweet. good. Yeah, hindi siya too it's sweet. Ni ka mo uma yung ganon. Hindi. Ang galing no, how what passion can do. Like when you're passionate yeah. about one thing and how it flourishes, no? Yeah. Ang galing ng so, mo. So and continuous pa rin yung ano niya, yung innovations yeah. niya. I know. I mean, uh -oh. naisip niyo tong lahat. Uh Oo. -oh. You guys also want to try the ice cream? Uh Oo. -oh. Ice cream pa please. Para lahat can experience this masarap na ano. Um, Di Chris. Ako ice. Ah. Ice cream, ice cream pa. Guys, so, guys, it's so good. It's not too sweet, right? Mm -hmm. Ito naman umay. yung suka namin. Ang sarap nito, ha? What's inside? That's the dried flowers of dragon. Nakagoyo sa mga bata yan. Naluloko sila dyan. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Di nila alam, hindi oh, pala... Oh. Ay, try nyo. May konti lang na bunga. Wala talaga siyang ano, manahinog. But, you can try it. Ang so? Yan is, pag nagtitake in ka ng at least one, one, one fruit a day. Sure ka na na pupunta ka na sa CR. Yung mga Thailand Bangkok na, na tamarind, the sweet ones. Okay. So seed first, no? Tantanin mo. Yeah, seeds. Actually, seeds talaga. So, eto yung mukha na ng farm. Then yung camp, uh -huh. ground. Eto yung farm. Kung makikita mo, may mga bunga pa naman, but it's still, ano siya, green pa lang. Usually, kunyari natanim siya, uh -oh. how, how long will you have to wait? Until... Eight months. Magda-dry yan, halfway oh. ng fruit, yeah. doon na iha-harvest yung bulaklak. Oo, oh, oh, yes. Para yun na yung ginagawang tea. Ay, yun laki ng farm yung how big is this? Yeah, nasa 13 hectares. So, in the beginning, this was flat lot and then kayo nagtayo ng mga Yes. Oh, this How is mahogany. Is, uh, you need to cut the mahogany tree after 10 years. Kasi why? As in the whole nag thing? Nagkakrack yan. And then? Uh Oo, -oh, kailangan bago na naman. So, we, after we cut, meron siya mga new, new stems na lumalabas. So, lalaki na naman. Hi, Julia Hi is here now in La Preciosa. We're going to get cooking lessons today and Ma'am Pam is going to teach me some Ilocano dishes. Starting off with... Puki Puki. Puki Puki. Madam yeah. said madali lang to. Yung yes. second dish natin ang medyo challenging but I'm excited because... Actually, this is the first Ilocano dish that I'm gonna be learning. Really? Yes. So, should we start? We can start anytime. Okay. I'll follow your lead lang, madam. Okay. So, you need high heat for this one. High heat. Because everything is pre-cooked na. Okay. So, you have to grill your eggplant. Okay. And then you skin it. And then you chop it. Okay. This way. Okay, you have oil. Kamatis and sibuyas lang. Woof! Woof! Ay! That won't <laughs> hurt you. Hindi, <laughs> kaya mo yan. Will it burn fast because of the high heat? No. Hindi naman. No naman. So this one that you're going to cook, kakainin mo rin, kaya sarapan mo. Okay? Yeah. Your eggplant. Ah, so mix everything Again. lang. And then we'll put patis. Okay, go madam. Okay, very easy lang to. Patis, okay? Konti lang. Ah. Ayun. This one na. Egg. Ano, Pakadali. How many eggs yan, madam? Um, this is three eggs. Three eggs. Okay. Wow, it looks incredible. Yeah. Then you turn off your heat. Because, ah, yun? Yeah, because you want the eggs medyo yes. soft pa, diba? You don't want to create an entire omelette. Yeah. It's cooked then, na? Yeah. Yun na yun, ang bilis. Oh, diba? 
Dali, dali. That's your puki puki now. Okay, we need oil again. Okay, of course. And you're scared of oil, so let me do this. Okay, this is chopped bagnet. Okay, put your oil there. Okay. Put your blood sauce. Okay, blood okay, sauce. Okay, I'll let you know. Yes. I'll... Tiling mga ba na? Talong. Tapos na yun. Wow, ang bilis lang nun. Kasi nga, the, the, the blood sauce is yeah. already cooked. Ah, okay. Ayun yeah. na, ganyan na siya. Last dish. Wow, nakatalawa oh, na tayo nun. Na na. We love our bawang, okay? I love bawang. Our third dish is Called. adobong uung. These are wild mushrooms. They are not your cultured mushrooms. Okay. Into your pot is a, a kunti lang na water, little lang. Okay. Kasi this one, magtutubig yan eh, okay? And I love then, mushrooms. And then, talagay natin siya. So you have bawang because this is our main, main ingredient in Ilocos Norte. Did you know we call this white gold? Put lots of bawang there because this one, that one will make it taste. For this one, only use salt. Don't want to discolor the um, mushrooms. And a little pa, ayun. Okay, and sukang iloko. Yeah. You have your own type of suka, no? Because every time we yeah. ask for suka, they always say, Ilocos suka. Ilocos vinegar. Ilocos vinegar. It's made of sugar cane. I'll teach you how to okay. pick up the banga. Ah, it's not everybody. Na. Okay. okay. Yeah, because we don't have, see, it doesn't have a handle. And the use of this one is to pick it up like this. Okay. Hindi mo bigat mo lang. No. But right. Look at mo dot mio. Ay, kaya nga. Ang, ang tibay okay. nito. You press it together and then you. Go like this. Oh, let me try, okay. let me try. Try this one. Okay. Tama mo yung ginagawa ko. Ayan, very good! Ayan! Huwag mo siyado malakas. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting in the way. Ayan! Sabi mo kasi, ayan! So sabi ko, ayan! Ayan, carry na! Luto na siya. Ang bilis ng dish natin. Okay, very good! Congratulations! Go ahead! Thanks, guys! Congratulations! One of the homegrown restaurants here in Lawag City, La Preciosa, offers a wide variety of authentic Ilocano dishes like crispy dinuguan, pinakbet, bagnet, and the like. transferred to Amici Resort. I had such a wonderful rest and sleep last night, so I think it says a lot about how comfortable and, and cozy it is in, you. in your resort. <laughs> I wanted to chat with you about your pandasal because you told me also yesterday na minsan nagpapadala pa talaga yung ibang mga <laughs> guests mo and loyal <laughs> clients. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, homemade by my sister-in-law. Ano siya? Special recipe niya. So, it's really malambot. And no yung mga... Preservatives. Preser oh, yeah. Preservatives. Oh, okay. So, come and enjoy Lawag City. Yeah. Center, and we are about to meet 99-year-old Weaver Nana. Tada. Hi, Mom! Hi, Hello, Mom. po! So happy to meet you! Excited po kaming matuto mag-weaving. How old siya nag-start na mag-weaving? 16 years old, Mom. 16 years old. That's never stopped. Grabe, it's amazing. She's been doing this for 80 years. So she learned this when she was 16 and haven't stopped since. Um, if you're wondering, she's now 99. Juna joke ko siya kanina. Ah, you look like you're 50. She's so beautiful to look at. Pa ask naman po kung ano yung pinaka favorite design na nagawa niya ever sa 80 years yung nami. Yan po. Saan? Eto. Because inubong. Inubong asabo. Ano ibig sabi? Simo flowers. Yung flower kasi parang tino. This whole thing? Oh nga, nung haba niya pala talaga. Lahat to sa kanya. Hindi, ito. Ito sa kanya po. Sa kanya po yan. You're so beautiful, Nay. Grabe, as in. 
Pintas ka ka doon. <laughs> Ay, apo. Pintas na ito. Baka nga, baka ito. Ano daw? Maganda na kami siya, mga. Hindi. What's the secret? Ano kang secret po? Pintas ka. <laughs> Walang Awa. stress. Marika kan mau bambanog lola. Madi unai, madi unai mau bambanog ta naru narua mak ti tarawa ko. Ay, tiang daw po sa pagkahiwi kaya hindi ra sa next. Parang gusto ko na matutunan to ha para hindi na ako na stress. So ito lang naging ano niya no, talagang source of happiness since nag-start siya. And then ever since, dito talaga based. Opo. Diyan lang po natanong. Ever since. Ever since. Ang galing, no? Hindi daw siya nasustress. Ang... Basta she finds happiness. Her secret daw is weaving. I think pag uwi ko, mag-weave na ako, guys. May gusto ba siyang i-share about weaving? Ang sumusuro na nga mga bal. Kaya mo nga sa uwi na ako na itaya. Mga karanon. Kaya nga pa-isuro. Ang sumusuro ti mga bal. Ang surot din mga pa, masurot ang mga pa, maanaw sa mga ta. Ay sabi po niya, baka raw po hindi mo, hindi niyo, parang active yung video. Kasi ang pagkakabi daw po, kailangan din patience. For weaving, kailangan may patience. Yun pa naman yung, ano, we know work on ko this year. Kailangan may patience, pero weaving will teach you the patience, di ba? Pwede din yun. Pa sabi thank you and super saya ko ng namit ko siya and very honored. Naragsak ka no lola nga nakasarsarita na ka, nakita na ka. Kasta pagyamana la una ita. Da kayo pwede mang papapig sa kanya nga may bumisbisita. Thank you raw po kasi kayo lang kayo daw po ang palang nagbibigay ng lakas sa kanya yung mga bisita niya raw po. Ah talaga po. Isa pa siya. Regalom Lola. Regalom. Ay, salamat po. Ito, 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 sigaro, abol na. Perfect, kasi sobrang malamigit ko. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Yes, Hi guys, we are currently here in Dawang Eatery, which happens to be, well, if not one of the, I'm sure the most famous karinderia here in Lawag City, or even in Ilocos. We're about to try their famous dishes. Uh, this is the pinakbet. This pinak is a staple, uh, staple Ilocano food. Okay. We have the oxy. Okay, That's po. our trademark. Okay. That is beef soup sauteed in papa. It, uh, okay. Papa, it is a part of the stomach, uh, stomach of the cow that has been squeezed out. It's the crispy din po. And it, it's dry and oh, it's okay. crispy. Yes. This is our igado. Pork blood stew. Pero may, may beans, pepper, siya gan pero saan wala. Kilawen. Ooh. This is the grilled pork belly. This is the imbaliktad. Uh, kilawen siya pero cooked, medium rare. We should have a taste test. I I recommend everybody to try because I need help in reviewing the food. That ang dami niya. Sarap. Sarap sa crispy talaga. Yeah. Kumalilinig niyo. Ay yes and more. Crispy nga kaniyang. For for the record, this one here is super soft lang ng texture ng chili, and at the same time, like hindi mo malalasahan yung ano, hindi mo malalasahan na. Tinuno grilled pork belly. Sempre no fail naman ang grilled pork belly. This is really good. Now in a heritage 
village resort called Sitios Remedios. Kung alam nyo ang Las Casas, it's somewhat the same idea. Parang ganun din yung, yung story ng mga houses dito. It's so beautiful. Actually, it's so serene and, and peaceful. But I'm so curious and I really want to see the, the seven houses na were re, rebuilt here. Ang interesting to find out kung who owned this house. Diba no? Yung sinong family. What year? Ito po yung very Ilocano. Bedroom. Uh, house po sa Bacara. For air. Balay Bacara. Ang galing. Wow. What's that? Thank you so much. Salamat po. Tingnan natin inside. Ang ganda ng color, oh. Ito yung sa top. And then, see how nice the skirt is. Ang ganda. The colors are so vibrant. And then, this is the top. Maca, made in the Philippines. Ang ganda. Thank you guys so much. This is so thoughtful. Oh my gosh, ang cute! Ito pala yung hinihingi niyo sa akin kanina. Thank you guys so much for this very thoughtful gift. I can't wait to try this. Alright, we are going to Batak Riverside now because we are going to make our own empanada. This is Miss Glory! And ito ang pinupuntahan talaga na empanada is Miss Glory's empanada. And I feel so honored that um, I get to try it. How long na po yung stall nyo dito? Or hindi to yung original? I think in 1960. Here? Ne you never move? Miss Glory is 82, beautiful and strong. Maybe it's because of the empanada. <laughs> what did you put in the empanada? Longganis and egg with some. What is comfort food? But they said that you have other options. You have longganisa, you have vegetable. Yeah. What else, Papo? Malatay rice, rabbit, rice. Which one's your most favorite? I double double. Ano pa yung nasalab ng double double? Dalawang longganisa. Wow, ang sarap ng hot dog. May hot dog? Meron po ba kayong hot dog at saka egg lang po sa empanada? Talaga? Pang breakfast yun ah. With kape? Talaga po. Di ba usually white po siya? Parang dumpling. Why is it orange? Ay, that is a suwete. Suwete? Ang orange po? Bakit po? Parang pangatrak ang yung kulay. May buta ka. Yes. Then put egg. Egg. Then put longganita. Kayo po nagturo sa kanila niyan. Apo po ito. Apo po. Yan. Basil yan. Basil, yes. Okay guys, so ang maganda dito is may option sila. Meron silang, syempre yung meat. Tapos, if you're vegetarian, meron din sila na walang meat. So it's just the vegetables and then the egg. So it's good that they have that option because hindi naman lahat nag-meat. Hindi sa end hot dog. Oh, is that? In Lagos Norte, I'm in. Finally, here we are. My God, I have been waiting this entire trip to do this. I can't believe na ngayon ko lang magagawa to. But finally, we are here at the Suba Sand Dunes, and um, I'm looking forward. I'm so excited. I actually don't know what's going to happen to us, but. I'm ready for this next adventure. Let's go! Okay. Okay. And then, let's go! Oh. Woo! No! My God, finally! Ang tagal kong hinihinta ito. It's cold! It's drizzling! <laughs> it's raining so hard. Wala! Nangyari na nga! The first ever to sand do something. <laughs>
parang hindi ako nanalo doon. <laughs> To conclude our night, we will be having our dinner sa isa sa mga ipinagmamalaking restaurants dito. Situated in front of Pauay Church, Casina Valentin will let you savor the rich flavors of authentic Ilocano dishes as well as their fusion cuisines. We are currently having our last dinner here in Ilocos. We are at Cucina Valentin, not Valentina. Ginawa mo namang dar na to. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to having... This is a fusion of, I think, Ilocano food and Italian. Am I right? Because can you imagine this pizza? It's longanisa pizza, bagnet pizza, pinakbet pizza. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Xavier uh, from the tourism office of Ilocos Sort and with Nanala. And very special, we have the E of Governor Matt. Yeah. In lieu of the absence of Governor Matt, <laughs> the, the executive assistant came, so we're happy to have uh, Juju and the, the rest of the team over to Lava Sunday. Okay. Thank you. So yeah, we're gonna eat. We're hungry. We'll see you guys in a bit. That's a uh, the one for uh, her yeah. iconic, yeah. iconic. Uh, oh my gosh, I remember that. Like, <gasps> you remember? Yeah, I know this guy. Yeah, yeah, yung isa sa mga pinaka mahirap na pattern. pattern na yes, they were saying yes, that. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. That's I guess you don't want to cry. <laughs> oh, oh. Unfortunately, it's raining so hard, so we can't make our way near to the Pauai Church, but it's right behind me. Thankfully, Cucina Valentin, they have a balcony here na overlooking siya ng Pauai Church. It's so beautiful, but I think this is a sign that I have to come back soon para lang malapitan ko yung Pauai Church. This is our last night here. It has been so much fun. It's been so memorable, unforgettable, and I feel like we've been to so many places and met a lot of people who have left absolutely an impact on us. If not everyone, me, like personally. I'm grateful to have met everybody that we met on this trip. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as we did, as much as I did. And we'll see you on our next trip. Bye guys. People may say that Ilocos is way too far to travel. Believe me, Ilocos Norte is very much worth traveling to. Huge shout out to our friends from Cebu Pacific Air and Ilocos Tourism for bringing us to this wonderful destination. Our Ilocos Norte adventure allowed us to learn more of the province's rich history, experience its unmatched culture, and savor the vibrant flavors of their cuisine. From the iconic Patapat Viaduct, Panzan Resort, Kabigan Falls Saud Beach Hakuna Matata 
Bergblick Restaurant, 18 Degrees Coffee Shop, EDC Wind Farm, Kapur Purawan Rock Formation, Burgos Dragon Fruit Farm, La Preciosa Amici Resort Hotel, Benili Inabel Center, Dawang's Eatery, Sitio Remedios, Pawai Sand Dunes, Pawai Church, up to the Cocina Valentin. Ilocos Norte is continuously being recognized by different tourism award-giving bodies. And I must say, they deserve that. Be captivated by the beauty of Ilocos Norte. In Ilocos Norte, we are all in for a great adventure. So, where should we go next? Tara! Music